What's up guys? I just wanted to make another quick video about fruiting, but more specifically when you're in between flushes, what it looks like and what to expect. All of these tubs are starting their second flush and have been harvested. The first thing you'll probably notice is all the funky colors all over the tub. Um, the bluish greenish colors are the bottom of the mushrooms where I cut them off at the substrate. They change that color from bruising and or damage. The orange stuff is parts of the mycelium that has oxidized or dried out. <clears throat> and you can see all the fluffy white stuff, which is the mycelium trying to reclaim everything on top of the substrate. So all of these have been dunked for like 12 to 24 hours. Um, usually when you do that, if there's anything that was still left over growing on the substrate, it'll usually die and kind of rot or deteriorate away. And then usually the mycelium will regrow over it and it'll start all over again making pens. You can see some sporadic new pens in each one of the tubs. Um, these are all from Multispore, so the pen sets usually come in very sporadic. And just like when you first put them into fruiting conditions, when you go on to the next flushes, you want to try to make sure you're keeping the appropriate climate inside the tub. So you want to mist the substrate and try if you can to get the water beads back on the surface. Usually after the first flush, it's really hard to get the water beads to sit up on the mycelium again. So you might not be able to get water beads all over the surface. I've found in most cases from the second flush on, the mycelium just sucks up any water that you put on it. Unless you obviously put too much on it and then it would pull up. So again, we have some new pens. You can see the mycelium trying to retake over the surface. There's another tub. You can see where I've cut all the clusters. That's what that greenish blue color is. It's the bottom of the mushrooms. And that's really it. Hopefully this video shined a little bit of light on what you can expect when you're in between flushes. Thanks for watching.